What's going on guys this is Waldo here and today I'm going to show you a quick trick how to use one of the MyFitnessPal premium features for free. So as you can see there's this uh, quick add macronutrients premium feature but there's an easy way around so you don't have to buy premium to use this. So let's see how it's done. You're going to add a food. Click on my foods and click create new food and uh, there are three main macronutrients as we know it's protein, carbs and fats. Every one of them has got uh, their own caloric value so basically we are just going to create these macronutrients as foods then we are going to lock them. So let's start with the protein for example. So we are going to create the food which will contain one gram of protein it's called protein one servings per container calories as we know protein has got the four calories per gram it's got zero carbs zero fat and one gram of protein uh, no. okay so we have created protein now we are going to create the uh, carbs Again, one gram of carbs, one serving. Uh, carbs has got uh, also four calories. One gram of carbs, zero protein, zero fat. Last, we are going to create fats. Again, one gram of fat. And the uh, fats are different because they have nine calories per gram. Zero carbs, zero protein, and one gram of fat. I know things. Okay, so now we have created these three micronutrients as uh, foods and now I'm going to show you how do you lock uh, some food according to micronutrients. Let's lock this bar for example. It's got 3.3 uh, grams of fat, 15.2 grams of carbs and uh, 1.8 grams of protein. So all in all it's uh, 102 calories. We are going to, as I said, it's we got uh, 3.3 grams of fat, so we are going to add 3.3 grams of fat, 15.2 mm, grams of carbs, 15.2, 1.8 grams of protein. Okay, we are going to add it. Getting down to 98 calories, which is just 4 calories short. Uh, from the original one. As you can see it's um, accurate. This trick is very useful when you uh, have some food that you know the macronutrients of but you don't know the caloric value. Or you don't have access to internet uh, to edit from the MyFitnessPal database or basically that food isn't in the database and you don't have time to edit there. You just lock the macronutrients of that food and uh, you are set and you can stay on track with your diet okay guys so thanks for watching uh, i hope that this was helpful for you i know that this is something that a lot of people know but there are a lot of people that don't know about this uh, trick and uh, it may be helpful for them and uh, okay so see you next time